up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that i upload a new video so you guys i'm about to show you how i did these highlights on this banging bob like y'all when i tell you i'm obsessed with this bob the lace was still on it because i was trying to sell it hot off the machine but you know um yeah nobody was moving fast enough and this was like two days before my birthday so i did end up wearing it on my birthday i will insert a picture y'all like obsessed with this wig but don't worry if you still want this wig it is gently used um so i will sell it at a discounted price and if you do not want it with the lace cut off i'm running a 200 bob special for the rest of the summer so if you want this you want any other type of bob i got you 200 dollars and it's yours okay so make sure that you email me at the hair life loc or you dm me at the hair life official so let's get right into this video so I'm using Blommy Bleach. Um, I did try this out because of La, um, Larecha Andrea. She did recommend this bleach. And you guys, I absolutely love it. It does lift up to nine levels and it is also blue. So that just helps cancel out any brassiness. Um, it is more on the pricier side, but it is a really, really good bleach. Um, and the developer is not like any other developer. More of a, like a lotion consistency to me. But like I said, I really love that bleach. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase it down below. So you guys can see I have like a triangle type of shape sectioned out. And I did take some of that hair out because I didn't want it that big. I just wanted like little highlights in the front. So I'm applying the bleach all over those two pieces. And I did leave a little bit of roots. You guys will see like I get pretty close to the hair. But I did leave like a tiny bit of the roots dark. I did not want that blonde coming right out the root. I just felt like... Um, how I did it looked a lot better. I saturated the two pieces in bleach and just made sure like every single strand was covered. You don't want any spots or anything. And I put aluminum foil over top of it, let it process for 25 minutes. And this is what it was looking like. And I wanted a tad bit lighter. So I let it sit for about five more minutes and I washed it out, con um, conditioned it. And I did leave some shimmer light shampoo on those two pieces for about five minutes as a toner. And I'm just showing y'all how flat this wig is. I'm telling y'all, I do not play around with the construction of my wig. So y'all really need to hit me up and get you a wig made. So I am using my Nairobi foam. Y'all molding my wigs is like my new favorite part of like wig making. It just helps your wigs lay so flat. I love it. So I do place um, the black neck strips around it. You can part your wig however you want. But using that Nairobi foam and letting it air dry or sending it up under the dryer is like key. So the next day you guys can see it's dry. I'm just going to comb out like that little cast from um, me putting the foam on it. And I'm going to use some bio silk. I love bio silk. This is a light version, which I do not care for. However, that's what I have on hand. So I'm going to use it and you can press it out or not it really does not make a difference once you use that nairobi to be honest with you guys and i took my con air flat iron and just um went through and flat ironed everything and then i did use my um clippers to do the bob and you guys have seen me do that before i'll link it down below and i'm just showing y'all a clip of how easy it is to put on my wigs you guys my wigs do not require you to do anything but cut that lace off put your cap on Put it on and you are good to go my cap was up too far on this clip because i couldn't see i didn't have a mirror but y'all get the picture it's bomb so moving on i'm about to show you guys the wig that i kind of like made a mistake on this was the first time i tried the highlighted look and i used the same blimey bleach everything was still the same same process of putting that bleach on there saturating and leaving a little bit of root okay now um, I'm going to show you guys a clip of what this looked like when it was about, I think I let this one process for about 45 minutes and that's what it looks like. You guys can see that um, it is, it's damn near 613. This was a different closure that I was testing out for my line. So yeah, I really, really love this closure as well. It's bomb. So this is what I did differently. I took some um, Wella Charm Toner which I always use on blondes, um, but I use T14 
And you guys know if you've ever used Wella that the ratio is two to one. So two parts developer to one part toner. I always mix it up properly. But I believe since this was only a small piece, I probably should have only left it on there for like five minutes versus leaving it on there for 20. But I left it on there for 20 minutes, y'all. Trying to kill two birds with one stone. I left it on there while I was uh, doing laundry. And this is what it looked like. And I was just so irritated. I was just like, wow, this is like gray. So I took some more Wella color. I will leave the um, number of it because I don't remember what it was. And I put that on there and that was the result of that. And it turned like this gray color. So that's what it looks like on me. And now I'm not even sure if I'm gonna leave it like this or what I'm gonna do to it, but that's what it looked like. So um, yeah, I just want to show you guys two different ways and two different colors. So if you like the way the first one look, you know what to do. If you like this, you can follow those steps. Um, but let me know if you guys like this. I am obsessed with this bob. And like I said, I am running a $200 bob special. So do not forget to hit me up if you need a bob wig made, if you need any other wigs made, y'all know what to do. DM me or email me. And yeah, I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.